Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Dragon Ball Nation. Now today I'm doing a discussion with Mike from Laughing Stock Media and Quaman's Land on if Cell really could have destroyed a solar system. Now Super Perfect Cell, when he came back after being, uh, you know, when he self-destructed, he said that he had enough key to destroy the entire solar system. And a lot of people have been questioning this for years. And today we're gonna really discuss this. So. Mike, I'm going to give you the floor first. Okay, well, um, in terms of him saying that he could destroy a solar system, what he essentially said is when he was charging his Kamehameha against Gohan, you know, when he was going to kill Gohan everything else, you know, he had said during his charging, like when he was towards the end, I now have enough key gathered to where I could destroy a solar system. Now... There's different things that go into this. A lot of people are like, oh, well, maybe he was bluffing. There's no proof whatsoever that Cell was bluffing. Um, the fact of the matter is that when it comes down to it, Toriyama does not write that way. Essentially, what he does or what he says is that, you know, it's pretty simple the way he writes. So, like, if he's going to have someone bluffing, then he is going to tell you that they're bluffing. So, for instance, a example of this precedent would be when Vegeta was going to fight Android 20. You know, he was in his base after he got a lot of his energy absorbed, and he was like, oh, you know, I could beat you right now, come at me. And then Piccolo was like, Vegeta's a, a genius. You know, he was bluffing, you know. He would tell you, but Cell never freaking implies he was bluffing, and it just makes perfect sense to me that he could have. I mean, when we just think of how powerful he got, so... I think that I'm, on, I'm definitely on the side when it comes to that of him, like, telling the truth. Right, I agree, and even when, it's weird because we don't know, per se, how much stronger Cell is than, like, you know, Frieza or Vegeta, but if Vegeta in the Saiyan side could destroy the Earth, I think it's definitely possible that Cell would have enough power to destroy an entire solar system. Yeah. I definitely think, and I agree with a lot of points, especially with the writing, and the writing side of it you know Toriyama writes characters to bluff and it's obvious when he's writing it like that he did not write Cell do this and Cell had no reason to bluff he wasn't he never bluffed before he was you know confident about his power like Frieza or yeah. Vegeta but he never was in the, the personality to bluff I'm fully confident he could have done it I really have no doubt in my mind that he really could have done this Kwame what do you say about all this well it's interesting you're saying this as you Mike was going first I was actually like opening up my manga volume and I just wanted to make sure what Cell said. Yeah. And there have been some mistranslations by fans who said that Cell had enough energy to blow away the sun. But if you actually go by the Viz edition of the translation, Cell actually himself said, I have enough chi to blow away the entire solar system. So if the manga says it and then obviously the Funimation dub says it, I think that's a pretty good indication that it was at least intended for Cell to do it because... Like what Mike said before, I think that he brought up a really good point in saying that usually with Dragon Ball, or with a show in general, you kind of have to indicate to an audience whether or not a character's bluffing because of the fact that, you know, there you, you wouldn't really get any sort of appeal if you didn't find out for a complete fact. Yeah. And I kind of relate, you know, kind of go, going slightly off topic about this, Mike could relate, you know, this happens a lot of times in Yu Yu Hakusho with Kurama's fights, I'm sure you would agree, Mike, where oh, Kurama's yeah. basically kind of just intentionally trying to get his opponent to show him what he has. And I feel like when you look at that in that situation, I think it makes it pretty clear, especially because of the fact that Cell is the type of guy to, I guess you could say, be a little bit extra confident with his power. It's still not a stretch to say that he couldn't do it, and I also base this off of the fact that I think theoretically a, any character with exponential power past probably Namek Tear could probably do it. It's just that they've never really been in a position to do it. And, and just for people that maybe not, don't understand what that means, pretty much if you have enough power, I mean, pretty much if you have like enough power to destroy most of the objects in the solar system, you can just expand your power pretty much to a certain degree, and I think Cell definitely would have enough power to do that if he the just thing, expands it. Yeah, maybe thing, not using the wave itself, the Kamameha, maybe not that, but expanding any energy. He didn't say he had enough power in that 
like in that specific attack, like he had enough power to gather, but he didn't say he was going to use that attack to destroy it. Uh, did he? I feel I feel like it was kind of implied that he could do it with Kamehameha, and I think it makes sense. Like a lot of people would be like, oh, maybe he was just going to blow up the sun and cause a chain reaction, which wouldn't I, destroy a solar system at all. Actually, I, yeah, I think <laughs> just a that, supernova. Yeah, I think that it makes sense going by power scaling that he could, because again. Vegeta in the Saiyan Saga says, I can blow up the Earth, you know, with his full power uh, Gallic gun. Absolutely. And Cell is probably at least thousands of times stronger. He's probably like at least a couple, you know, a billion at that point. So that's a gigantic leap. Like, you know, Frieza held back as much as he could on Namek, which is probably a bigger planet than Earth. And yet he still was able to destroy the planet. So... Yeah, I, like I, 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 I mean, like, Vegeta was an 18,000 on Earth power level, yeah. and if you go by power levels, Frieza 100% is 120 million, and you can only imagine how much stronger Cell is. So Frieza's already millions of times stronger than that, that thousands of planet, if you're going by, you know, mathematical uh, equation-wise, I guess, but yeah, th so then people like to put their own arguments when you put math into it the It just makes well, sense, so. and then people will be like, oh, solar mass is much bigger, but there's when you use math, it makes perfect sense. The thing yeah. is, too that in a lot of ways when it comes to destroying even bigger things than a solar system, in space, for the most part, it's a vacuum, so energy will continue to expand and go in forth, you know, on and on. So if you could blow up one thing, you could probably blow up different nearby objects as well with the blast wave, even though blast and energy and stuff like that disperses over a larger period of time or a larger, you know, area. I still feel like if you could blow up, like, say, a huge portion of the galaxy, you might be able to blow up a lot of other things just because the blast wave will continue to go on and on throughout space. So... I just feel like Cell is not bluffing when he says, I can gather, and I gather enough energy. I think it makes perfect sense, and, I mean, I just feel like, you know, he doesn't need to bullshit about it. He doesn't need to blow up, like, one planet at a time. He doesn't need to do a scatter shot. I feel like he could just blow up the entire thing with one explosion. Absolutely, and there's no, I really don't think there's anything to really disprove this at all, honestly, other than the fact that someone could say he's bluffing, but there's no reason for him to bluff. Yeah, um, I mean, again, Toriyama is pretty clear, and he's a kind of a simple writer when it comes to the fact that if I'm saying something, it means this unless I tell you it doesn't. Well, I think one other thing that I just wanted to point out about the whole scalings, I think one good way to determine this is by using the base level for, like, finding out how strong you need to be to blow up on just a planet. Yeah. And when you consider the fact that Vegeta, who was around 24,000... I'm sorry, 18,000. 18,000. Yes. Yeah, when when he was around 18,000 on on Earth was basically enough of a threat. Now, although his power had to go up more than just his regular 18,000 to power that up. Mm -hmm. But considering the fact that, you know, when Goku used his three times Kamehameha... And, you know, obviously that would put him at a 24,000. That's saying that Vegeta's, and, and, you know, his Kamehameha was tied with Vegeta's. That means that Vegeta's 24,000 power level with that Gallic gun was enough to most likely destroy the Earth. So, when you look at it like that, when you look at how many times Cell is stronger than that Vegeta. Yeah. That's enough to tell me that if you just multiply like just space and time, I would think that would be enough. I mean, the just, thing is, I, I, it's hard to calculate, but I mean, I would just think, you know. I mean, the thing is too, when it comes to power levels and powers of characters, we know when they channel blasts and stuff like that, their power will increase. Power levels are kind of interesting to kind of figure out what they necessarily mean. Like, does a power level equal literally all of the key in a person's body, or all of the key that they tend to be able to put out at a time? You know what I mean? Right, so, right. if if someone took all of the key within their body, like Goku when he had uh, when he was eight thousand, if he took all the key in his body and put it into one single blast would he still be 8,000 or would he be way higher than that I feel like I feel like it's just normal you know what you can normally put out and then of course on Namek for example Goku's like this is nothing to what I could put out in short bursts so I think it's entirely possible that when Cell augments his power puts all of his key into one attack it's way above say the 2 billion or whatever absolutely and like, I, and, like, and, like, and like I said earlier you know Vegeta's you know t let's just say 24,000 blah blah freezes already thousands of times stronger than Vegeta would be, Cell's much, much stronger than that, so power scaling wise makes complete sense. Yeah. Complete sense, I really have no problems with it. Uh, Kwame, you wanted to interject there? Yeah, I just wanted to say something really quick in the sense of what, you know, Mike was saying with power scaling. I mean, 
The one big thing that I look at with this scenario is when you look at the fight that Goku and Piccolo had against Raditz, I think that's a very good indication of what a character can do. Because is Cell just saying one Kai Blast could blow up the whole solar system? Or is he saying if I just max, if I just use my maximum energy to thrust it? Because yeah. here's a contradiction that some people might say in the comment section. When Cell was in his semi-perfect form and he blew himself up on King Kai's planet, that just blew up King Kai's planet and it didn't seem like that explosion was enough to like wipe out an entire solar system. Well, but, but at the same time, you would think that, that even semi-perfect Cell could probably emit more in terms of just a damage or, or the radius. So there's a whole difference between right. radius and damage. And I think that like when you look at the fact that like when Goku and Piccolo were, you know, using Kamehameha and special beam cannon against Raditz. Raditz had like some fear of those attacks, even though he's considerably stronger. So that's another thing I just want to kind of. Well, think I can about. look at it like, like in, I'm gonna use Dragon Ball Super as an example. Uh -huh. When their energy was expurting, it was dissipating the object. I kind of look at it like that. Like if you can put enough force to dissipate celestial objects, then you can potentially just keep spreading it to destroy yeah. everything around you. And that's kind of how I think it would go. And the thing is, too, like, in terms of King Kai's planet, there was nothing really around King Kai's planet. No. So for and we don't we know, know if it could have been a compact blast, too, to do more damage. Yeah, and the thing is, too, on top of that, like, uh, when it comes to, you know, for example, Gohan and Super Perfect Cell, they had their their key struggle, of course. And a lot of people are like, well, why didn't that blow up the, the solar system or something? I don't think Go. I don't think Cell was putting the solar system explosive force. Maybe no, he wasn't. The blast. He, was, he wasn't giving it his all the whole clash yeah. at all, in my opinion. So, so if I feel like it's if he puts literally all of the energy that he gathered at that point. At, in one single blast and then has none of it left, you know, then he could destroy the solar system. It makes sense. Mike, I just wanted to say something really quick in terms of Gohan. Now, obviously, you, you know, you guys bring up a point about Cell. <laughs> but if you look at the way Gohan was after he defeated Cell, if you look carefully, he's actually, like, flying in the sky. But yeah. yet, they were on the ground, and that kind of, like, e even though nothing was ever said, that, like, implied that Gohan was trying his best to, like, throw that Kamehameha off because I'm 100% yeah. sure that Kamehameha would have destroyed the Earth easily. Oh yeah, well the thing is that there's also when it comes to blasts and stuff, there's intention. So the blast that Goku, I mean the blast that Gohan and Cell were, were shooting at each other, seem more in you know interested in the clash, whereas if uh, Cell for example were to shoot it, it would be more of a bomb, explosive, compacted explosion, like if he shot the solar system. So I feel like intention really has to do with it, and as well as aim. So when Cell is just trying to blast to counter Gohan's, it's not an explosive one that's going to blow up the planet. It's just trying to be concentrated energy to overpower Gohan's. That's why when it overpowered Cell and was destroying him, it didn't just explode and blow up the you know the solar system. Right. It's, it's because right. it just went through it. Right. Well, I think we all said a lot of pretty good <laughs> things. Is are we all in agreement that he could have? Pretty much destroyed the entire solar system. I know uh, me and Mike definitely are. What about you, Kwame? Yeah, I, I agree 100. percent And I just based that off of you know Vegeta being able to blow up a planet yeah. just I think, for. I think we all agree that power scaling wise it definitely makes sense completely. I mean, cells probably millions of times stronger. You know, freezes whatever freezer can do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> In but um, yeah. yeah. Frieza um, but uh, I do you guys have anything else to add at all? I mean, if Frieza can blow a plant Vegeta in his first form, and Plant Vegeta must have been a huge or dense planet since it had which ten wasn't times he the wasn't gravity. even trying either. Yeah, so. it, mu it must have had like if it had ten times the gravity, I would assume that was a denser planet. The or density, something. yes. We can so assume. if he could do that in his base, then there's no way in hell Cell can't blow up a solar system like that. Right. Like. Yeah, pretty much. I, I think maybe some people are thinking that they're gonna blow up the the star, or I don't know completely annihilate and make it some white nothingness i don't know what they're thinking but if you can just have enough to dissipate everything then i don't see why you couldn't just destroy it but uh that's pretty much all we have to really say for today i'd like to thank you both for joining me in this and don't forget to check out both mike from laughing stock media and kwaman's land down in the description below go subscribe to them um kwaman i know everyone wants to hear you take us out of this video <coughs> <laughs> Better get yourself ready for this one. <laughs> please. And I mean please. Just remember to do three simple things. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I lied to you guys because there's a fourth thing. And that fourth thing is... 
to remember to have a great day, guys. And as I always say, stick around, because there's a lot more to come in the future. Oh, man! Yes. <laughs> I'll catch you later.